Yo, what's up, everybody? This your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching my content, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get right into it. I'm trying my best not to make this long. I'm trying to make it short and sweet. But then again, sometimes this is possible. All right. But anyway, let's get right into it. We're going to try something different. Uh, no video this time. We're just going to look at this picture right here. And um, I want y'all to see what it says. It says, uh, Italian woman marries herself, saying my happiness doesn't depend on a man. Well, this is quite interesting to me to hear a woman literally sit up here and say this or even make a meme even saying this so you know what I did I went and typed this in the Google search bar and kind of find out you know um, apparently this thing right here is making a trend uh, as you see right there um, not a bad looking woman um, got the cake on there we just heard by herself and everything okay here's what I gotta say about this first off what I always say is a woman emotions and feelings is always stronger than a man a lot of women can take the, the simplest shit or like some people call it they turn a mole hole into a mountain especially when it comes to emotion and they passion for wanting to be loved. You ever had a female friend or a female that you dating, period? And did they see that they friend got a good marriage or a good relationship going on? And they feel some type of way because that's not what they got. But it seemed like some of them in being so much of a desperate mode that they would take anything just to make them happy. How many of you agree with me when I say that? And of course, you got some men that do that too, but we're talking about a woman right now, you know. You know, woman want to talk about a man, yeah, you go right on here, but we're talking about women right now. They would do anything out of desperation to have that happiness. As a matter of fact, I remember a long time ago, I was talking to this chick I don't remember her name so I'll let you know she probably wasn't important um she said um uh, a friend of hers and her boyfriend invited her to go out with them so she didn't want to be a third lead so what she did she called up somebody that she really didn't have no feelings for or whatsoever or somebody she was totally unattractive to and gonna call them to come on a date with her just so she won't feel left out. And when I heard that, I said, you know what? That's gotta be the saddest shit that I ever heard. A woman will literally know her standards just so she'll be in the in crowd. She will literally know her standards just to be in the in crowd just so they can have that same feeling that they friend have because they got somebody. And on top of that, have you ever had a female friend or somebody that you're dating, if they see their friend doing good, like if they, got, if they go to their house and just got their house just all pretty up, uh, this woman pretty much getting everything she wants, whether she worked hard for it or her man gave it to her or whatever the case may be. But the woman you cool with or the woman that you dating with, see that this woman have this, but try to throw little hints at you and try to get you to get it for her. Have y'all ever had that happen to y'all before? If y'all go over there to an event or whatever, a gathering or whatever they having, and they see something that, that they want. And when y'all get back home, she just start talking about that out of the, out of the blue. 
and start saying, you know, this so and so, so and so, they had in their house, they look nice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it look nice in our house. You know what you think about it? <laughs> I be throwing little slick hints that that's what they want too. I tell you one thing, or how some people call it, you know, dry big, dry big, you know, dry accent saying that's what they want. Now, some of us as men, we'll go get it just to try to make the woman happy. You know, because uh, we down for a woman like that. And if you do, if you do that, then there's nothing wrong with that at all. If you do that, there's nothing wrong with that at all, I guess. But I believe in some things that if a woman really wants it, she needs to get up and go get it herself. Now, one thing I agree with this meme right here, or whatever the fuck this is you want to call it, she said her happiness doesn't depend on a man. Now, I would give her some props on that one. I don't think your happiness should be depending on anybody but yourself. Because again, you can't make, nobody can make you happy like you. Nobody's going to care for you like you. Nobody's going to love you like you. That's the same thing I say with a woman. I can't depend on a woman to make me happy. I can only depend on myself. Because nine times out of 10, a lot of them is not gonna do anything to make me happy anyway. I had to end up to go get it myself. Okay? You ever had uh, another one of the friendships that they always come to you for something and if you got it, you'll help them. But when it comes your turn, they never got it. It's always an excuse. They had to pay their bill, phone bill, cable bill, car note, car insurance. I mean, just whatever, you know, had to uh, pay uh, to feed their kids and all that. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But check this out. Let you say the same thing to her. You know what you will be? A broke ass nigga? A bum? A whole ass nigga? A bitch ass nigga? And everything in between. I seen a post a woman made a while back. And if I remember what the post said, she said, uh, if the first nigga can't do something for you, then you go to the second one. Some shit like that, she said. Um, I commented on it, and uh, yeah, I don't remember what the fuck I said, but I do remember asking this person. Who made it. Let me ask you a question. I said, so what if the second nigga can't help you with what you need? Do you go to a third nigga or do you go back to that first? She responded back and said, well, if the second nigga can't help you, then you just shit out of luck. Now, come on. Now, we all know that's bullshit. These women who we talking about, women like cats. They hide their shit. You know where cats shit, they hide it. And a lot of women hide their shit. Now, you know damn well there's a third nigga somewhere up in there. Because trust me, when a woman needs something paid or she needs to get something done, trust me, she's going to do what the fuck she got to do to get that money or to get it done. That's why they be on a lot of these social sites doing this P2P. And for those of you who don't know what P2P is, it means pay to play. I'm down here in Memphis, Tennessee. We got a lot of hot spots where it was known for prostitution, but uh, the police kind of cracked down on all the spots. But you know, these motherfuckers done got advanced now. They going on social media. They selling pussy on the internet now. They are. And you just got to look for keywords. And you see, one of the keywords you see is P2P. means pay to play. So once you stop one thing, they start up another. And like they say, it's more than one way to skin a cat. 
Yeah, I do agree with that. <laughs> it's more than one way to skin a cat. That's the same thing with a lot of women. They they got nine lives. And I believe when they lose one, they gain someone back like a video game. Cause once they lose something, they go to the next and gain it right back. You know how you used to play Super Mario Brothers? You lose a life, you get that green mushroom, <laughs> you get that life back. <laughs> That's how a lot of women is. They lose something, they get that shit right back. Or they put in the cheat code like we used to do on Nintendo and get a, uh, probably 100 lives on Mario Brothers. And Mario Brothers, you can beat that motherfucker with ease because we put in that code. Or with Game Genie came out, we put them codes in and uh, beat the hell out of Mario Brothers. <laughs> and that's the same thing with a lot of women. Okay? But here's one thing that needs to be understood. And this is with men and women. Just because they got it doesn't mean you have to have it. Okay? I believe patience is a virtue. I believe if you wait, you can get something better than what they have and make them be jealous or envious of you and they go get what you got. Okay, but then again, at the same time, I think that's a dumb game for a lot of women that a lot of women play. You know, they try to out top each other for what? Be happy with what you got. But then again, I think that's a little easier said than done. Or that just goes into one ear, come out the other. Which a lot don't know believe it anymore. Be happy with what you got. Because trust me, we all work hard to get what we got. Hey, I work hard to get what I got. The next man worked hard to get what he got. Uh, one woman worked hard to get what she get. Another woman worked hard to get what she get. Ladies, shit just don't fall in your lap. You gotta get out and work for it. Preach. You gotta get out and work for it. Now I heard they got this thing going on talking about the section eight massacre or some shit like that and I'm hearing a lot of women going nuts about this um, me personally I support it you know I mean you can't get up and work at least 15 to 20 hours a week then you lazy as fuck you, you lazy as fuck so what did you get mad for I mean you getting free benefits hey I don't want paying for your benefits that shit coming out my check paying for you That shit coming out the next man check paying for you. Hell, even another woman. That shit coming out of all of our checks paying for what the fuck you got. And your kids. And you still want a bitch about it? Man, get the fuck up out of here. But I don't see many men is able to get Section 8. I be telling motherfuckers, shit, I don't knock a motherfucker get Section 8. Let me get a rent for Section 8. It costs like, shit, about 10 to 15, 20 dollars. What? I'd be the richest motherfucker down here in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> I'd be one of the richest motherfucker down here in Memphis, Tennessee. You better believe it, Jack. You better believe that shit. Real talk. So anyway, uh, somebody posted this and uh, I said I was going to talk about it. Now, women marrying they self now. You know, what, what would we think of next? What the fuck would we think of next? You know, uh, and it's crazy, you know, we, we come up, as we as people come up with the dumbest shit and they make headlines. I think this woman made a little headlines with this dumbass meme or post or where the fuck you want to call it, you know what I mean? And she made headlines with this shit, you know? But like I said, um, but at the end of the day, I can't knock her what she said right there at the end. My happiness doesn't depend on a man. I could kind of rock with her on that one. But at the same time, a man happiness should not depend on a woman. Okay? A man happiness should not depend on a woman. Now, I don't know if this is, uh, but I just find out there's a such thing as wig towel. 
I heard the MGTOW, but I didn't know it was Wigtow. What the, I mean, again, what the fuck they think of next? <laughs> what the fuck they think of next? Uh, what a crazy, crazy world that we live in. So, um, hey, ladies, I guess whatever floats your boat, do your damn thing. Do the damn thing, I guess. But, um, that's pretty much all I got to say. You know, I think it's, it's kind of crazy at the same time, but I kind of feel, feel where it's coming from at the same time. But, um, hey, do you like the song in the background? Hey, a woman got to have it, right? <laughs> a woman got to have it. Anyway, y'all, um, this your man Chris Thorns. So uh, thanks for watching. Well, in this case, uh, thanks for listening. Um, I would like to hear y'all thoughts on this. You know, what you think about all this? You know, uh, what do you agree with what I said? What do you disagree with what I said? Or do you agree with everything that I said? And especially for the ladies, you know, I would love to hear y'all comments. You know, what you think about this? You know, uh, this is the way to go. You know, um, because here's the thing, and I, I, I forgot to mention this too. My thing is this: we don't need a significant other in my opinion i don't need a significant other would it be nice to have one of course but do i need one nope don't need one at all but some of y'all y'all just try to keep up with the joneses and the jetsons y'all gotta have it <laughs> anyway i'm gonna come back with some more videos for y'all uh, again thanks for watching like comment subscribe and um uh, Y'all take care of yourself and each other, and I'll catch y'all next video. Peace out.